Omnium sanctorum tuorum, veritas sub una tribu isti, trebritate vederari, quesus, ut desiderat nobis tue propitiationis abundantia, multiplicatis intercessoribus lagiaris, per domnum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vivit et regnat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deum, per omnia secula seculorum. Cere terer marine que aboribus, 
Vodus quesignem, servos dei nostri in frontibus eonum. Era divi numerum signator, centum quadragin, quatuor milia signati, ex omni tribu filiorum Israel. Ex tribu iuda duodeci milia signati, Ex tribu Ruben duodeci media signati, Ex tribu Gad duodeci media signati, Ex tribu Asa duodeci media signati, Ex tribu Neftali duodeci media signati, Ex tribu Manasa duodeci media signati, Ex tribu Simeon, duodeci milia signati. Ex tribu Levi, duodeci milia signati. Ex tribu Isaaca, duodeci milia signati. Ex tribu Zabulon, duodeci milia signati. Ex tribu Joseph, duodeci milia signati. Ex tribu Benjamin, io duodeci milia signati. Post ec vidi turba magna, quam di numerare nemo poter, ex omnibus gentibus, ex tribus et populis et linguis, stantes ante throru et in conspectu agni, Amictis tolis albis, et palme in manibus eorum. Er clamavan voce magna dicentes, Salus Deo nosum, qui sedet sub et ronum et agno. Er omnes angelis stavan in circuitu troni, Et seniorum et quaturo, quaturo animarium. Er ceci deru in conspectu throni in pagia suas, Ed adora verum deum dicentes, Amen. Benedictio et claritas, et sabientia et gratiarum axio, Honor et virtus et poditudo Deo nostro, In secula seculorum, Amen.
The lesson comes from the book of the Apocalypse. In those days, behold, I, John, saw another angel ascending from the rising of the sun, having the sign of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, nor the sea, nor the trees, till we sign the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them that were signed. A hundred and forty-four thousand were signed out of every tribe of the children of Israel. The tribe of Judah were twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Reuben, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Gad, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Aser, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Naphtali, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Manassas, twelve thousand signed. Of the tribe of Simeon, 12,000 signed. Of the tribe of Levi, 12,000 signed. Of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 signed. Of the tribe of Zabulon, 12,000 signed. Of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000 signed. Of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 signed. After this, I saw a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne, and in sight of the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God who sitteth upon the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around about the throne, and the ancients and the four living creatures. And they fell down before the throne upon their faces and adored God, saying, Amen. Benediction and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving, honor and power and strength to our God forever and ever. Amen. And please stand for a continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, Jesus, seeing the multitudes, went up into a mountain. And when he was sat down, his disciples came unto him. And opening his mouth, he taught them, saying, 
Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the land. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after justice, for they shall have their fill. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they that suffer persecution for justice sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when they shall revile you and persecute you and speak all that is evil against you untruly for my sake. Be glad and rejoice, for your reward is very great in heaven. And thus are the words of today's holy gospel. Following Mass, we invite all to remain in the church for a time of quiet prayer and veneration of the many relics that we have on our altars for this solemnity of all saints. Compline will be said in private this evening to allow you all to spend time venerating the relics. Church will remain open until about 9.30 or thereafter. This Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Richard Dulce. And finally, there is still time to enroll your beloved departed in the Novena of Requiem Masses. If you have not done so, you may call the office tomorrow to enroll your beloved departed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This evening's Mass opens with the words of the introit and the exhortation, let us rejoice in the Lord. Liturgy invites us to share the heavenly jubilation of the saints, to experience a taste of their eternal joy. The church reminds us in the liturgy that the saints are not a restricted cast of elect, but a crowd without number toward which we can and should lift our eyes, toward which we hope to join. Among this multitude are not only the official canonized saints of the church, but indeed all the baptized of every age who have sought to accomplish God's will with love and fidelity. In the first reading, the lesson from the book of Revelation describes a great multitude which no one could count from every na nation, race, people, and tongue. This people comprises the saints of the Old Testament, beginning with Abel the Just and the patriarch Abraham, and then those of the New Testament, many martyrs, beginning of Christianity, the blessed, the saints of the ages that followed, and finally, even the witnesses of Christ in our own time. What was common to them all was the will to be living examples of the gospel. But of what use is our praise of the saints, our tribute of glory, our solemnity that we celebrate? This is a question that St. Bernard asked in a homily for the Feast of All Saints. It is a question that we could ask ourselves even today. St. Bernard tells us, our saints have no need of our honors. They gain nothing from our commemoration. But I must confess that when I think of the saints, I feel inflamed by great desires. Inflamed by great desires. A French novelist once wrote that the only real sadness, the only real failure, the only great tragedy in life is not to become a saint. It's more than simply a pious thought. It speaks of the deepest desire of our hearts for God and for excellence. The deepest desire of our hearts is to be a saint, to 
who fail to obtain this blessedness is to live a life of sadness. C.S. Lewis speaks of this sadness, which is brought on by ourselves. He writes, it would seem that our Lord finds our desires not too strong, but too weak. We are half-hearted creatures. When infinite joy is offered to us, we go on fooling about, like an ignorant child who wants to go on making mud pies in a slum because he cannot imagine what is meant by the offer of holiday at sea. We are far too easily pleased, C.S. Lewis said. When faced with all life circumstances, we are most often too short-sighted in our response. Our response is bound up with our fallen human nature and concupiscence. We often settle for that which is most immediately pleasing, which is the least disruptive to the lives which we have grown accustomed to. But our Lord offers us a different manner of responding to the challenges of life, a response which is contrary to our natural inclinations. He offers us the Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are they who mourn. Blessed are the meek. Blessed are, fill in the blank, for they shall fill in that blank. The Beatitudes are about embracing a life of delayed gratification. Holiness demands constant effort. But it is possible, it is possible for all, for everyone in this church, it is possible since it is not just the work of man, but is above all a gift of God. And is this not why we receive the sacrament of confirmation? To be confirmed in Christ. To become soldiers of Christ means that we take our orders from the commands of his Holy Spirit, rely on his grace and his strength, willing always to do not necessarily what we want, but always what is right, what he wills. How fitting that we process to the altar this evening carrying the relics of the saints, carried by those who are preparing for the sacrament of confirmation. These young men and women who will be confirmed will take the name of a saint, a saint whom they identify with, a saint whom they look up to, a saint whom they want to imitate because they lived a life of heroic virtue. Amidst life's complications, trials, struggles, we're called to heroic virtue, but not without effort on our part. This heroic virtue, of course, is a response to the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and a life which he calls us to. In truth, the blessed par excellence is only him, Jesus. He is the truly poor in spirit, the afflicted, the meek one, the one hungering and thirsting for justice, the merciful, the pure of heart, the peacemaker. He is the one persecuted for the sake of justice. The Beatitudes show us the face of Jesus and thus express his mystery, the mystery of death and resurrection the passion and the joy of the resurrection. This mystery, which is the mystery of true blessedness, invites us to follow Jesus and thus the way to happiness. In the measure that we accept his proposal and follow him, we too can participate in his beatitude. 
With him, the impossible becomes possible. But only with his help are we able to become perfect as the Heavenly Father is perfect. The solemnity of all saints, we celebrate all those blessed ours, all those who lived lives of beatitude. All the saints are those who had the courage not to simply seek the path of least resistance, to live only according to their natural inclinations, but who with God's grace discovered that supernatural inclination within their souls. All the saints are those who are not content with mud pies, but who held out for the eternal banquet, which is promised us, a banquet to which we only gain entrance if we embrace the life of truth, mercy, and love. The saints are for us friends and models of life. Let us ask them to help us to imitate them, to undertake to respond with generosity to the divine call as they did. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Per omnia secula seculorum. Dominus vobiscum. Sursum gora. Sagamus Domino Deo Nostro. Mere dignum adius tum est, ecum et salutare. Nos tibi semper edubic regratia sagere. Domine Sancte Pater Omnipotens et Deus, qui glorificaris in concilio Sanctorum, et eorum coronado merita coronas dona tua, qui nobis in eorum breves et conversatione exemplu, et communione consortium, Ed ingestione subsidium, ut tantam abentes in positam nubem testium, per patientiam curamus ad propositum nobis cetamen, ed cum eis percipiamus in marces sibile gloriae coronam. Per Iesum Christum Dominum Nostrum, cuius sanguine ministratu nobis introitu sine tenum regnum, per quem maestatem tuam la tremendes adorand angeli, et omne spiritum celestium gori, Socia exultatione concelebram, cum quibus et nostres voces, ut admiti uvies de precamo, supplici confessione dicentes.
Ero mio secula seculorum. Receptis salutaribus moniti, et divina institutione formati audemus dicere. Pater noster, qui es in ceris, sanctifice tu nomen tu, adveniat regnum tu, fiat voluntas tua, Sicut in celo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et imite nobis de vita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostrus, et ne nos inducas in tentazione. Per omnia secula seculorum. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum.
Jesus began to stretch his spirit, but God said, Be committed now. The dream seemed absolutely the same as the tree seemed on the back of the first one. We were probably submitted in the middle of the first one. Amen. Ecce Agnus Dei, Ecce Cotolipi Catomini, Domini Domini Domini, Surenge Sufecta Mea, Spettantum di Quervo e Senato di Arma Mea, Domini Domini Domini, Surenge Sufecta Mea, Spettantum di Quervo e Senato di Arma Mea, Domini Domini Domini, Surenge Sufecta Mea, Spettantum di Quervo e Senato di Arma Mea.
Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. 